Hey guys, it's me Christine as always who else would it be and today we're gonna put dragons on our nails Now this look is actually called a triple scaled gradient Well, I mean that's what I decided to call it a year ago when I made it up in my head But it kind of looks like dragon scales to people who have no idea what I'm talking about So I'm just gonna go with that for the title of this tutorial now I'm showing you me applying my base coat, not because I want to invite comments of ignorance about my yellow nails, but because I want to show you that for once I'm not using a peel off base coat and instead I'm using a regular sticky base coat because I'm going to be doing a whole lot of peeling off of nail vinyls and simply peel stuff around my nail and I do not want to risk peeling off this nail art as I go because it's a lot of work, as you'll see. Whenever you're doing a gradient where different colors will overlap each other, it's best to test out how that's all gonna go down on paper first. So usually I would suggest layering darker colors over top of lighter colors, but in this case I did the exact opposite because this gold is so metallic and very rich in pigment. And it's by quote from Shoppers Drug Mart, yeah, go Canada, started from the bottom, now we're here. So I just start off by painting my nail with one base color, which based on my executive decision making is the darkest color. If you happen to not know how to paint your nails properly, you can also use a clean out brush like I do. I get mine from Twinkle Tea because they are excellent and they do not break down with acetone. Don't forget to use my code SIMPLY for 10% off because you gotta save money for hollow. Now Simply Peel, if you've never met her before ladies, she is your best friend when it comes to doing gradients. Simply Peel is the reason why you may even consider attempting this nail art because otherwise you'd be like hell no that is way too much mess all over my cuticle so just get her up on in there real nice and close so you don't have to do barely any cleanup she also sparkles when she's dry because she is an angel or a vampire i don't know i forget the rules grab a latex free makeup sponge and we're gonna start applying the nail polishes in order of the gradient oh my god this red though it's like a vampire sucked out all of my blood and then a unicorn came in it that was highly inappropriate remember you got to make this gradient very narrow because you're only gonna paint a third of the nail with this particular gradient so this is where you got to put your strategy hat on and plan in advance and make sure that you're focusing your first gradient super close to the base of the nail because you're gonna need to leave enough room to make your second and then your third gradient oh my god wait stop the polish on my other hand is so pretty though I'm instantly regretting my decision to use reds in this why didn't I use green dragon scales why well, I guess you could do the same manicure in green or any color combination you want. So I'm just repeating the sponging on of the first gradient section scaly section thingy because I want it to be nice and opaque. And right away while your nail polish is still wet, you can peel off simply peel like no big deal because the peel is so satisfying. Look, I'm gonna do it again on my other finger because it just feels so good and I wanted to show you it twice. Oh, and also the reason why I showed you that was to show you how well she works and why you need her. Next, you're going to apply a quick dry top coat. And this is not optional. You must do this. If you don't do this step, then you can stop at this nail art level one right here and exit the game. Goodbye. Make sure you let it dry completely. I'm talking like 20 full minutes as long as it's a good quick drying top coat because now we're going to add nail vinyls. You can really use whatever kind of pattern nail vinyl you want that has an interesting shape. In this case, I'm just using chevron slash zigzag, whatever you want to call them, vinyls from Twinkle Tea to get kind of like a scaly effect. The second section of the scaled gradient will begin right along the edge of the vinyl. So I'm just masking off the sides of my nails and on the other side of the vinyl with some more Simply Peel because you never know if I'm going to be messy. Because by this point, the nail polish from your sponge will already be dried up, you just cut that section right off and bam, you got a fresh sponge. Remember to keep your gradient color layers very narrow because again, this is section two of three. We still need room for a third one at the tip of the nail. So a tip here is no matter what color you've chosen to start at the base of the nail, always use that one to start at the base of the sponge too. Because I know that I put the gold right at the edge of the sponge, when I go to sponge it on my nail, I know exactly where I'm placing it in relation to the nail vinyl. So I only needed to do two coats again because this polish is super opaque and then I just peel off the Simply Peel and the nail vinyl while the polish is still wet. And we're getting there. We've got two of three dragon scales and we're on our way to breathing fire. Of course you could stop here if you have short nails but because my nails are super long right now I'm gonna go for all three. Yeah I'm going for it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Add a quick dry top coat and let dry completely because we're gonna repeat the exact same steps we 
just did except further down the nail. I know if you're doing this at home, it must be lunch or something by now and you're probably really hungry, but don't worry, just give it another two hours and then you can eat your sandwich. I don't really need to be adding Simply Peel around the sides of my nails because there's like no space to even put it there, but I can't stop putting it everywhere. It's so satisfying to peel off, okay? I have a problem. You will too when you get it. Again, make sure your gradient is super narrow on your sponge because at this point you're probably looking at your nail like, oops. Um, I didn't leave enough space at the end of my nail because I didn't think enough ahead, did I? That's why not everyone is good at chess, okay? And for some of us, we will only ever be good at checkers. Peel all that shit off and oh yeah, you a dragon, you so fierce, Queen Bay would be proud. Add another glossy top coat, and I swear this is the last one, I promise. I often get the question, but isn't that too many coats of nail polish? Isn't it too thick that it's just not good? And honestly, I've never found that doing this many coats of nail polish and top coats makes my nails feel any thicker. As long as you've properly applied your base coat, wrapped the tips with the polish and the top coat, then your nails aren't going to be any more prone to chipping than if you did a manicure with half the amount of coats. The overall thickness would also depend on the nail polish formula that you've chosen to use. So for example, it would not be smart to do this kind of scaled gradient with a thick glitter polish, that wouldn't make any sense. So you can use the same scaled gradient technique with different types of nail vinyl shapes. And you don't have to do a triple scaled gradient, but you can do a double so it looks like this with regular chevron nail vinyls, or like this with starburst vinyls, or like this with two different types of gradient colors with wave vinyls, or fire vinyls, yes, I love these ones. And here's some proof you can do exactly what I did on my nails today, except just two scales, but on very short nails. I did these like a year ago. You can also go crazy and do four scales with all different colors or go even crazier and do a reciprocal scale gradient. Yes, I know it doesn't make sense, but I also made a video on it making more sense, so you can go watch that too. Either way, you slay that gradient dragon, girl, you slay. Now here's to hoping my tutorials make more sense this year than they did last year. If you do a scaled gradient on your nails, don't forget to hashtag scaled gradient so I can see them one day in the future. All right, see y'all later, bye.